Now we turn from uh, soccer to golf mm. because Tiger Woods is in Montgomery County at getting ready to play in his own golf tournament later this week. It's going to make a lot of people happy, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. News that Tiger would play is not only affecting the golf community, it's also affecting Bethesda residents and businesses. Our Horace Holmes is live from Congressional Country Club now with more on the excitement. Hi, Horace. Hey, Horace. Hi guys, well it doesn't appear that three months out of the spotlight has hurt Tiger Woods popularity because a lot of people showed up very early this morning to see Tiger Woods swing a golf club. When Tiger Woods stepped onto the congressional golf course this morning at 6.30 to tee off for the first time in three months, a large enthusiastic crowd was there to greet him. Anytime he plays, people are excited to see him, but I think since it's his first time back, people are probably a little bit more excited. Tiger's announcement that he planned to make his comeback from back surgery here at his tournament breathed new life into this event. I heard the ticket sales are up like three times what they would normally be. Yeah, it's a great thing for the tournament. Ticket sales are up. Corporate sponsors are happy and spectators like Lowell Puckett and his family here from Haymarket are ecstatic. I think it's the uh, the backbone of the tournament because he's here. Everybody here today wanted to see and rub shoulders with the pros, but Tiger is clearly the star. He was walking across the putting green earlier and and uh, gave a couple people autograph down there, but uh, he seemed pretty busy. They want to see Tiger and some like eight-year-old Jordan Lofton, dressed in his Tiger Woods cap and signature red polo, want to be just like the former world number one golfer. He's almost seven. Exciting? No. Yes. But for people who live in the neighborhood around Congressional, the tournament is a double-edged sword. It's had uh, a somewhat adverse impact in the surrounding community. Neil Gillen says he is just one of seven homeowners who bothered to get a permit to rent out his property for parking. He didn't expect to make much money this week, but Tiger's presence changes everything. They we're impacted by, by it anyway, so uh, well, why shouldn't we benefit? So, how did Tiger do out here on the course today? We'll tell you, and we'll let you hear from Tiger coming up a little bit later on in sports. Reporting live in Bethesda, Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News.